a couple engaged in a passionate kiss appeared in the live broadcast of the Disney fireworks show. Internet users exclaimed with awe, a perfect balance of beauty and talent, embracing this damned romantic love of others, that my feelings were completely different from others. Because the woman in the picture is my wife Willow, and the man is her childhood sweetheart, Makoto. Willow and an unfamiliar man went trending because of a picture taken by an internet celebrity during a Disney live broadcast, where the two were caught kissing. Under the night sky, the fireworks were dazzling, and the two people were lost in their kiss. The photo was stunningly beautiful, the kiss was very aesthetic, the only downside being, Willow was a married woman, I saw this on the news on my phone at home. Willow came home, and just heard the sound from a video on my phone, her face didn't look too good. She sat on the edge of the bed, and looked at me. He is Makoto, my childhood sweetheart I told you about. We were just celebrating New Year that day. A New Year's kiss to a friend. Don't think too much. I have no feelings of love for Makoto. I put down my phone. Okay. Willow. He just returned to the country recently. Didn't know where to go. So he invited me to celebrate the New Year. And I could hardly refuse. I remained silent. I'd been married to Willow for three years. She has always appeared quite indifferent regarding matters of intimacy. I respected her. So I never touched her when she didn't like it. I only found out looking at this photo that she truly had a passionate sigh, but it just wasn't for me. Seeing my cold expression, she got a bit upset. Aren't I back home with you now? Who are you showing your cold face to? The name Makoto. It wasn't the first time I heard it. The first time was on our wedding night. Willow was drunk and called out this name in the middle of the night. Not long after her discharge from the hospital, Willow attended a friend's gathering. By the time I arrived, Willow and Makoto were already there. Willow sat next to Makoto, his hand on her waist, and there were red kiss marks on her collarbone. But the way she looked so languid next to Makoto, like a woman who had been loved, friends joked, our pure Willow, only Makoto can touch her heart. If Makoto hadn't gone abroad for treatment at that time, there would have been no room for George. A friend asked her, Willow, do you really like George? Willow dismissively replied lightly, his eyes look like Makoto's. Now that the main character is back, the substitute should step down. I stood at the doorway, listening to everything clearly. It seems that her friends are also very familiar with their relationship, and they knew that Makoto was the light of Willow's heart. Someone saw me standing at the door and stopped his careless talk. George is here. Come Nan said. We are all joking. Don't take it seriously. Willow saw me. A bit shyly covered her neck with her hair, and whispered. You're here. Makoto laughed and said, Stop fooling around. You'll upset Willow. And it's hard to cheer her up. Everyone teased. All right. We know you are protecting her. I casually sat down next to Willow, stretched out my hand and flicked her hair aside. She was taken aback as my cold fingers touched the red kiss mark. I laughed, playing so wild. Don't even bother to conceal an extramarital affair. Willow's face flushed. Makoto's expression also changed and the atmosphere became awkward. Willow, what nonsense are you talking about? Are you deliberately making this situation so embarrassing? I dropped my hand. Am I making this embarrassing? You two are intimately together in front of others. What are you afraid of being embarrassed? Everyone was trying to calm things down. Surely it's a misunderstanding. Just too much to drink. Makoto tried to explain to me. I'm sorry. I had too much to drink just now. Willow looked at me. What do you really want to do? I took out my phone, showed her a text message. The message was a notification why supplementary card spending. Booking a luxury double bedroom in Disney on New Year's Eve, I said. Willow, even if there is no feeling with your childhood friend, I don't believe that a man and a woman can sleep in the same bed innocently. Willow stood up. You have such a dirty mind. You think everyone is as dirty as you. I pointed at everyone. You ask any of these married people if they could trust their spouse to sleep in the same bed with someone of the opposite sex. If they can accept it, then I have no problems. Friends were indeed aware of the situation between the two, but did not expect me to just blatantly speak out all the matters, completely disregarding face. The room quieted down immediately. I stood up. I just wanted to let you know, this substitute is stepping down. After I returned home, Willow quickly came back as well, trying to explain to me. That day in Disney, there were no rooms left. I didn't make a reservation in advance, so we had to temporarily squeeze into one room. He slept on the couch. Honey, 
You have to believe me. Is that so? I pointed to the kiss mark on her collarbone. What about this? Is it a mosquito bite? Willow blushed a bit. Makoto got drunk. He said he had always liked me, but I pushed him away. I told him that I was married and there could be nothing between us. Willow had changed, even when she was lying. Her face remained the same. She was no longer the little girl who would blush when lying. I met Willow in a gallery that I had opened with a friend. She was crying in the corner of the gallery. Her friend was consoling her. That's when I learned that her teacher used her painting with his name and sold it for over a hundred thousand, but only gave her three thousand like a handout. And he said disdainfully, Do you know how many art students want me to take their paintings that can't get in line? I used your painting because I appreciate you. Willow came from a challenging home environment. She had to pay her tuition fees through part-time jobs. Studying fine arts is an expensive major. Her family could not afford her fees. She had to rely on herself. She was crying with her face in her hands. I watched and sigh. Later, I got to know her through friends and felt bad for her struggles. I poured resources into her, hiring people to write art reviews. I didn't understand art, but I had money. In a few years, when she graduated, I successfully promoted her to be a small, but well-known artist. She also became my girlfriend, and later married me. The streets lauded her as a young artist with a transcendent style and the most refined temperament in B-City, untouched by worldly dust. However, where in this world does one remain unstained by the red dust? It was I who used my money to elevate her above worldly concerns, allowing her to step away from the mundanities. Yet she believes all these are achieved through her talent alone. In this world, talent is not what we lack the most. Willow looked at me. I have not done anything to betray you. You can't just decide to divorce me like this. I won't divorce. After finishing, tears brimmed in her eyes. You can't sentence me to death just because of one photo, right? You should give me a chance to prove my innocence. I had nothing to do with Makoto. Her voice was as soft and sweet as before. She clung to my arm. If you really dislike Makoto, then I'll limit my interaction with him in the future, okay? Through her shoulder, I could see various photos of us hanging on the wall behind. Suddenly, I felt a bit hesitant. It seemed a kiss didn't represent much. Neither did a text message. These couldn't erase the feelings built between us over the years. It seems like she still loves me. My heart softened in her tears. When we went to bed that evening, she snuggled into my arms, in her half-awake, half-asleep state, she nestled deeper into my chest, murmuring, Makoto, my heart, like being doused with a bucket of ice water, was thoroughly awakened. Her phone buzzed. A message came in. I picked it up, unlocked it. It was a message from Makoto. Willow, for the first time, I regret going abroad so much that I lost the opportunity to stand by your side. When I kissed you today, it was like I was back at that night in Disneyland again. What came next was a selfie of them kissing. Willow had her eyes closed and Makoto kissed her passionately. As I was stupefied, Willow murmured again, Honey, my heart thumped, I forwarded the photo to my phone, deleted the traces of forwarding, locked the phone screen, and pretended I saw nothing. Our wedding anniversary had arrived, a month ago. I had planned a surprise for her. I booked the top four rotating restaurant of the Grand Hotel. Facing us was the city's largest skyscraper and I had booked the electronic wall of the opposite building, preparing to profess my love for her on the wall to commemorate our third wedding anniversary. The entire floor was decorated with roses, and hundreds of drones were ready to appear according to my design. I texted her earlier to meet me at the top floor of the Grand Hotel tonight. The time had come, but she was nowhere to be seen. Her phone was out of reach, and she never replied to my message. The hotel staff stood cautiously by the sign not daring to ask if they should serve the dishes. All my friends had already arrived, my buddies asked. Chen, your wife hasn't arrived yet. Maybe she is stuck in traffic, don't rush, they all agreed, right? It's rush hour, everywhere is congested. I glanced at the time, it was past the agreed rendezvous. I told the staff, start serving. To my friends, I said, she's got some urgent matters and can make it. Let's just eat on our own. While speaking, a dispute arose between the doorman and the guests outside. I'm sorry, we're having a private event tonight, but there are still many empty seats. What kind of person would close off the whole place? It's affecting others from enjoying the night view. Can't you spare a seat? Today holds special meaning for us. I turned my head to look. It was Willow and Makoto. 
Willow was holding a bouquet of red roses, and the pair holding hands were standing at the entrance intending to dine in the revolving restaurant. All my friends were silent, watching this scene unfold. I walked over, stared at their intertwined hands. Willow saw me and looked flustered. I stared back at Willow. Willow, do you remember that today is our wedding anniversary? Is going on a date with your ex a critical thing for you? Hence, you did not answer my calls or reply to my texts. Willow immediately released her hand, murmuring, Sorry, honey, I forgot today is our wedding anniversary. My friend, indignant, retorted, forgot about the wedding anniversary, a married woman dating and holding hands with her ex-boyfriend, having a candlelit dinner so blatantly, this is my first time witnessing such a scene. Willow immediately defended, today is Makoto's birthday, I just invited him for a meal. Then she stepped forward, tugging at my sleeve, honey. I reached out my hand and took hers. Willow looked at me while carefully saying, honey, don't be mad. I stroked her hand, gently took off the ring from her ring finger. Willow panicked, what are you doing? I threw the ring into the trash can next to me, looked up at her, it's over, Willow. I don't want to expect you to turn back or be pity. I shouldn't have been soft-hearted to think that you'd love me. I can see. Let's divorce. This time, I'm serious. After saying this, I turned and left. Willow wanted to chase after me but was stopped by her friends. Oh, your boyfriend is still here. Not going after him. Willow, I really don't know what you're thinking. Where does Chen not match up to you? Where is he not good? To make you look down upon him, even go so far as to cheat with this good for nothing. Truly shameless, bah. Willow said, George, you guys shouldn't look at people with such vulgar eyes. Makoto and I are just having a meal together. We can celebrate our wedding anniversary every year. We have a lifetime together. Why care about this one time? Makoto chimed in, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. If you want to blame someone, blame me. Don't blame Willow. Willow defended him. How could this be your fault? Today is your birthday. It was my idea to invite you to dinner. Don't take his unreasonable anger to heart. Makoto said, are you sure it's okay? I think George is really angry. Maybe we shouldn't have dinner now. You should go to comfort him first. Willow said, arrogantly, no need. I'll go home and coax him a bit. He's always petty. Don't mind him. Willow found that the door lock code had been changed when she came home at night and she pounded on the door loudly. Her nose led the neighbor to complain that she was disturbing the peace. She called me and I said, I'm staying at a hotel. The hotel I booked for our third wedding anniversary that die. You won't stay. I'll stay myself. Willow, this house is my home. Why can't I get in? I laughed and said, you're home. Have you ever paid a dime? And then hung up the phone. I booked a luxurious couple suite in the hotel for our wedding anniversary. The romantic night view, red roses, red wine with a fruity aroma, everything is perfect, just missing a woman, but it's not needed now. The news of me wanting to divorce Willow quickly blew up in her home. Willow's parents have been making a living by selling vegetables, because Willow married me, when I initially married her. I bought a house for her family and helped them open a fresh vegetable and fruit store. Life has just begun not to be so strapped. In addition, I have always been generous to Willow's expenses. Almost half of them she sent back to her mother's family for supplementation, and I turned a blind eye. Now if divorced, all these things will disappear completely. Willow usually worked in an art studio, where she would create works during her free time. Since Makoto came back, he often accompanied her in painting there. When Willow's mother came to her, the two were laughing and studying a new work with heads closed together. Willow's mother pushed the easel away with one hand and slapped Willow's face with the other. Are you out of your mind? You should be coaxing your husband. Not hanging around with this pretty bow. I just heard from my neighbors when I was selling vegetables today that your husband wants to divorce you. Willow's mother was strong and her slap made Willow's face red. Willow prided herself as a painter. She has always cherished her image and rarely interacted with her parents outdoors for fear that others would know that she was from an ordinary family. Her parents selling vegetables made her feel ashamed. Now her face was completely lost by her mother's slap. With tears in her eyes, she said, Mom, why did you hit me? Do you know what's going on? It's George causing trouble unreasonably, wanting a divorce. Willow's mother replied, Don't think I don't know. The neighbors have all heard about it. As soon as Makoto came back, you started to be wishy-washy again, wanting to be with someone. 
Do you have a conscience when he didn't want you in the beginning and left? Who helped you when you were in a pitiful state? Now that you have a bit of fame, you think you're invincible? Daring to play this trick with me, let me tell you, even if you become famous, you're still my daughter. If you do something wrong, I will still punish you. The staff in the studio started whispering to each other. Makoto quickly closed the door and tried to persuade Willow's mother. Auntie, this is a misunderstanding. It has nothing to do with Willow. Willow's mother, full of fighting spirit, turned on him. You are also involved. Do you not know she is a married woman? What's the deal with you to being together? Can't you avoid suspicion? What kind of face do you have? I've lost face in front of the neighbors because of you. Raising such a sly fox, Willow cried out loudly. I can live well without relying on George. I am famous now. There are plenty of people waiting to buy my paintings. You are uneducated and don't understand anything. You shouldn't interfere in my affairs. The conflict between Willow and her mother escalated, and the news reached my ears. I smiled faintly. The divorce agreement was already prepared by my lawyer, and I was just waiting for Willow to come and sign it. When Willow arrived, she looked resentful and said, George, just because I'm close with a friend, you assume I'm cheating and want a divorce, I won't agree. If we are to divorce, I want half of all assets under your name. I never expected that the self-proclaimed high-minded artist Miss Willow would also have a day with a taste for money and want to fight over assets. Are you worthy? I retorted. I took out my phone and showed the photos sent by Makoto that night, then took out a USB drive containing footage from the dashcam in my car, showing Makoto and Willow kissing and being intimate in my car. You think just because we didn't capture you in bed, you're not considered to be cheating. Willow, how shameless can you be? Wanting both the husband's money and the lover's body, you are truly despicable. Willow looked at the video in the USB drive, her face pale. This is covertly recorded. It doesn't count as evidence. I chuckled. You to leave evidence everywhere when having an affair, and you're afraid I won't find it. Willow, you have another flaw. Your brain is simple. Why do you think it's my duty to give you money to spend? You are my wife, and I am willing to spend money on you. But you can't use my money to cuckold me. You really think highly of yourself. Willow raised her head. Fine. Let's divorce. Don't regret it. She picked up a pen and signed the divorce agreement. Before leaving, she hesitated and looked at me. I actually have some attachment to Makoto. Can you give me another chance? My eyes stun. Willow, I have given you many chances, but you have never truly cared about me. Have you? If I knew three years later we would end up like this, I would rather not have met you at the gallery three years ago. I regret marrying you. Willow, this was the last sentence I left her. The divorce certificate was quickly processed. On the day of processing, Makoto accompanied her. When they saw us coming out of the Civil Affairs Bureau, he approached with a bouquet of red roses. Willow, congratulations on starting a new life. Willow threw herself into his arms, and the two of them embraced each other, as if they were there to get married, deceiving those who didn't know the truth. I thought that after divorcing Willow, I would feel low for a while, however. After receiving the divorce certificate, I surprisingly felt a sense of relief. Perhaps, keeping someone who doesn't love you is also a kind of pain. In less than a month, I received the wedding invitation of Willow Ann Makoto. She posted pictures, a high-profile manner on social media, showing their marriage certificate. Their hands intertwined with wedding rings. The caption read, I only want to hold your hand for a lifetime. Willow called me and said, she hoped I could attend the wedding to witness her happiness. She also had good news for me. She was pregnant. I hung up the phone. In our three years of marriage, I desperately wanted children. But Willow had always refused because of her career. I didn't force her, thinking we would have children when she was ready. However, I never imagined that as soon as she was with Makoto, she was willing to get pregnant and have a child. It turns out, it wasn't that she didn't want children. She just didn't want to have children for me. I covered my face, tears rolling down my cheeks. A man's tears are not shed lightly, for the first time. I truly felt that all the sincere efforts I had made were just a joke. It was so ironic, in love. Someone on love truly does seem like a clown. I couldn't attend their wedding. But I heard it was grand and lavish. Makoto and Willow spent all their savings, determined to make their wedding the most unforgettable memory, when I saw Willow again, her belly was already bulging. She came to the gallery to discuss organizing an art exhibition. It was Makoto's exhibition, and after visiting several galleries, 
She felt that mine was the most suitable for showcasing. A friend helped her with the planning, and she was very satisfied. The friend looked at her belly and said, You must be around five or six months pregnant. Why do you have to worry about the art exhibition? Can Makoto handle it? Willow replied proudly, He never understands these matters. He just loves to paint. I handle all these mundane tasks. And now that I am pregnant, it seems like the inspiration has disappeared. I can't paint. So, I decided to help him with the exhibition planning. The friend asked me if I wanted to allow them to have the exhibition at the gallery. To which I said, why not? Is it foolish not to make money when you can? The exhibition was very successful because my gallery and I had some reputation in the art circle. And art exhibitions usually attracted regular customers at the end. Makoto and Willow thanked me with a smile. I handed them the bill and said, no need to thank us. In our line of work, good service is essential. If you are satisfied, you can recommend the gallery to your art circle friends for future exhibitions. Here is the bill. Would you prefer to pay by check or bank transfer? Makoto's face stiffened. Rent? What rent? And then he looked at Willow bewilderedly. Me? Do you think hosting an art exhibition doesn't involve paying rent? Have you ever seen a gallery allowing others to host exhibitions for free? When you were hosting the exhibition, didn't you think about paying rent? My voice was loud, and everyone in the gallery turned to look. Willow's face turned red, looking embarrassed and incredulous as she stared at me. I'm organizing an exhibition at your place, and you still want to charge me rent. I was even more incredulous. Willow, if everyone hosted exhibitions without paying rent, our gallery would have closed down long ago. I am a business person, and it's business. You and Makoto wouldn't be expecting a free ride, would you? More and more customers began to look over. Come on, hosting an art exhibition without paying. Hush, that's the boss's ex-wife, Willow. Even if she's the ex-wife, she knows it. Shameless, bringing her husband to freeload. That's some thick skin. Tears welled up in Willow's eyes as she exclaimed loudly, Stop lying. I never paid rent for hosting exhibitions before. You're trying to cheat me, aren't you? I chuckled. Willow, use your brain. Okay. You used to be my wife, of course. I wouldn't charge you rent for organizing exhibitions. Now, you are my ex-wife. You're helping your husband organize the exhibition. Should the ex-husband foot the bill? Does that sound reasonable to you, Mr. Makoto? Do you think it's appropriate to ask your ex-husband for money? Makoto felt embarrassed and took out his card. Just swipe the card. I took the bank card, accepted the payment, and said, Thank you for your patronage. Welcome back anytime. Oh. By the way, there is a commission for the paintings sold in our gallery. You do know that, right? Don't accuse me of cheating. It would be difficult for me if the paintings are sold and no payment is made. After all, the gallery is not just mine. Willow was furious. We will take all the paintings and won't sell them in your gallery. As they hurriedly left, I overheard Makoto complaining to her. How can you handle things so poorly? I should have found a gallery myself. You made me lose face. Makoto began to rise to fame in City B, holding exhibitions everywhere, while Willow gradually faded from everyone's sight. In early summer, Makoto participated in an exhibition, The Young Painter. My friend and I went to see the paintings, and we saw a beautiful woman by Makoto's side, exuding artistic flair with her thick, seaweed-like hair, and wearing ethnic jewelry. She stood beside Makoto, chatting and laughing with friends. My friend said, she was a wealthy second generation named Anna, a painter who had just returned from abroad. Her family owned galleries and art museums overseas, and she was infatuated with Makoto at first sight, pursuing him passionately, a well-known fact throughout the city. At this moment, Willow should be giving birth soon. At the end of the art exhibition, I saw Willow hurriedly arrive, her belly swollen, her face round and full no longer retaining her previous cool and ethereal aura. She strode into the exhibition carrying a bag, looking at Makoto and Anna, and loudly demanded, Makoto, who is she? Anna glanced Willow up and down, giggling with her hand over her mouth. Makoto, is this your wife? I thought she was also an artist. How come she looks like a typical housewife? Oh my, it's really embarrassing for the artist's circle, no aura at all. Feeling embarrassed, Makoto pulled Willow to a corner, they are all friends from the industry. I need her help for my overseas exhibition. Don't be upset. Let me explain when we get home. Willow shook off his hand. Explain it here. 
I want to know why couldn't it be discussed over the phone? Why it needed to be arranged in a hotel in the middle of the night with this lady? Makoto, our child is about to be born. And you're indifferent. I'm preparing everything for the baby alone. While you roam the streets with other women looking at art every day. You should know. You have a family. Willow said, frowning. Makoto replied, I don't know how to buy baby supplies. I only know how to paint. You told me to focus on painting. And now you've changed. Acting like a fishwife, making a scene here at the art exhibition. This isn't a market. You must have picked up those bickering habits from your parents. Stay away from them in the future. Makoto's words once again provoked Willow, exposing the family background she least wanted others to know. She did something unexpected, rushing forward to grab Ana's hair and start fighting, crying as she hit her. You know Makoto has a wife, yet you still try to seduce him. You are shameless. Everyone was stunned. Willow, not a big celebrity, but a somewhat famous painter with a fresh and elegant style and impressive skills, was now fighting with a mistress in the gallery while pregnant. People rushed forward to pull them apart. Anna pushed her harshly. Are you crazy? Makoto, such a talented person, married to a crazy woman like you, can only be dragged down by you. I can help him go further, gain international fame. What can you do besides crying, making scenes, and threatening suicide? Willow was almost knocked to the ground. Despite being supported by others, she still felt a pang in her stomach. Makoto looked displeased at Willow. You're truly insane. Look at yourself. There's no trace of an artist left in you. Makoto didn't even spare another glance at Willow. He left with Anna, leaving Willow sitting on the ground, holding her stomach and crying. I sigh. After all, we were once married. I took her to the hospital. She held my hand, crying with regret. George. I was wrong. I thought Makoto was my beloved, but he's not. He's just the perfect shadow I imagined. He doesn't care about anything except painting. He only wants fame. I no longer had any value to him. He went to seek out valuable women. I've given so much, even sacrificed my career, my marriage, but now I have nothing. I regret so much going to see those fireworks back then. I really regret it, George. In this world, there are no regrets, only our own choices, I gently said. Willow, the person you liked when you were young has finally come to you. Aren't you happy? Isn't this what you've always wanted? Her answer was the regretful sound of her crying. Willow gave birth prematurely to a daughter, weighing only four pounds. And because of underdeveloped lungs, the baby had to sleep in an incubator. The next day, I took the bag Willow left in my car back to the hospital to give it to her and I heard Makoto and her arguing in the war. Willow, sign the divorce papers early. The daughter belongs to you. I don't want her. I don't like children. It was your choice to have her. So take care of her yourself, Makoto firmly stated in the ward. Willow, I've just given birth to our child, and you want a divorce. Makoto, Anna said that if I marry her, she can help me with the immigration procedures. I can develop in country K. Her family can promote my art. They have evaluated it very promising. Willow, you know how important this is to me. Willow, what about me? Am I not important? Makoto, you have always known. In my life, painting is the most important. Everything else has to make way for art, including you. You know how important painting is to me. I have come this far with great difficulty. I cannot fail. So this marriage, I must tend it. Willow sarcastically laughed. Makoto, are you so confident that Anna will marry you? Be careful not to come back empty-handed. Makoto confidently smiled. Anna admires me a lot, she says, and the most talented person she has ever met. We will definitely get married. Makoto left with only the clothes on his back, giving all the money and the house to Willow, finally getting divorced. But when he went back to find Anna, he found the place empty. Anna's place was rented only for three months, just a short temporary stay before returning to her home country. And as for her family, indeed they were a wealthy family abroad, but they had left without a trace. Makoto realized that he had no way to contact Anna while she was abroad. Anna called me before boarding the plane to go home and said, Cousin, everything is settled. I'm leaving. Remember to invite me for a meal next time you come to see me. I reply, Sure. The high-end jewelry has been sent to your home. You will see it when you return. Anna is my cousin, my blood cousin. She was upset after hearing about my divorce, so she returned to the country and put on a good show to vent her frustration with me, she said. Makoto and Willow are selfish people, 
As soon as it comes to their own future, they forget everything else. They don't need any tricks, just a little provocation and they fall into the trap. They really have simple minds. Makoto is still in the dark, dreaming of becoming internationally famous. On the other hand, Willow got divorced and is completely despondent. Her child was born prematurely, and the cost of the hospital stay was tens of thousands. She stayed in the neonatal intensive care unit in an incubator. Once the child was discharged, his health was not good and he often fell ill and had to be hospitalized. She spent her days busy going to the hospital. The money had already run out. It seems that painting was something from past lives for her. She hasn't picked up a brush in a long time. In City B, there are many talents in the art world. In less than a year, almost no one remembered Willow's name. The next time I saw her, she was carrying her child while helping at her family's vegetable shop selling vegetables. She no longer had the haughty and distinguished look of the past. She was already wrapped up in the mundane world, looking like those ordinary people she used to despise. As for Makoto, he left the marriage with nothing, emotionally frustrated. It seems that he has not painted any artwork that dazzles people's eyes since then. And no one buys his paintings. According to friends, he has been staying in a wholesale painting city, painting bulk landscape paintings priced at 1 or 200 yuan each. On the other hand, my art gallery, striving, with signs of becoming a leader in the field. When a columnist interviewed me and asked if I had any regrets, I smiled and said, no, I feel that every day is the best present moment.